Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. Today, we are back with another episode of International Public Transport Showcases. In today's episode, we are going to look into Stage 2 of the High Speed Rail, which encompasses the Southern Persian Gulf. And this phase of the High Speed Rail will extend from Abu Dhabi and Dubai to the cities of Doha in Qatar and Dammam in Saudi Arabia, eventually connecting high speed rail to Kuwait and, possible, and possibly even Riyadh and Medina in southern Saudi Arabia. Stage 2 is going to be the biggest phase on the high speed rail project, having a total length of 902 kilometers. It will go through the countries of, U of the UAE. Qatar and Saudi Arabia. The line is going to be standard gauge which is 1435 millimeters. In metric terms I don't know the um, I don't know the imperial terms for that but it will be using standard gauge track and trains will travel at a speed of 400 kilometers per hour for initial top running speed and possibly we, if we can have very good rolling stock for standard gauge high speed rail trains could go to 450 kilometers an hour so that way you can actually cut travel times between cities now stage two was un originally meant to only go to doha but because it goes through saudi arabia We needed stations which are in Saudi Arabia, otherwise the government would not fund for the section which of the high speed rail which goes through Saudi Arabia. And 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 Do and Qatar would still be isolated from the UAE. So we've decided to extend it to Dammam for stage two so that way the government would fund for stage two of the high speed rail and benefit early from it. Now there is a color coding scheme on this line which applies to train stations. Stations in yellow, stations with a yellow icon represent stops for regional all stops trains, sub express, limited stops trains and super express high speed trains. Stations that are in red are for regional and sub express trains whereas blue is only to be used for regional all stops trains only. Now before we begin the showcase we have to look at the dark side of the project. The line goes through barren Arabian deserts even though you might think that it's flat and easy but no it's gonna be hard because the engineers and construction workers will be building through intense climate. Also there is no and also the high-speed rail is very distant from the roads and so it will be very difficult to construct the line it's not practical at this moment but it is still possible to build so anyway guys without further ado let's begin the showcase at Abu Dhabi now I've decided to have two stations on the outskirts of Abu Dhabi because there is going to be an, an additional terminal at the Abu Dhabi International Airport. Now, the only catch with this line is that if trains want to stop at these stations, they cannot stop at those two stations at the same time. Now, there's going to be a Y there's going to be a Wiling Junction on this section of the high speed rail so that commuters from Abu Dhabi and Dubai can travel directly to the cities out into the south and into the west without having to change trains. Now I've decided to make the stage one of the line pink so that it indicates that we're not going to look into any detail of the project except for this one right here. Now, stage 2 of the high speed rail will run parallel to E11 with a top speed of 275 kilometers per hour. There's going to be a stop at Mafraq station, which will be served 
by regional all stops trains and sub express limited stop trains. Super express trains will bypass the station at a speed of 275 km per hour, but from the frac, the high speed railway line will divert and separate from E11 and trains will accelerate to a speed of 400 km per hour if not 450 km per hour. Now the line is going to be pretty straightforward running through barren desert with a very straight track until we reach Madinat Zayed station and Madinat Zayed station will only be served by regional high speed rail all other trains will will whisk past the station at a speed of 450 or 400 kilometers per hour again it's going to be pretty straightforward with a few curves along the way but there will be another stop at Gayatsi station and what I plan to do is connect Gayatsi with Ruiz with a metro line I don't have the metro line here it's not it hasn't been made but what we c what we can do is to m further make the use of the station we could we might put in a and implement a metro line which runs parallel to this road and these cities would probably be grow would grow the same way as dubai you know with with um, skyscrapers and waterfront areas. The line will continue straight at a top speed of 450 kilometers per hour, but then it will cross the border with into Saudi Arabia from the UAE, and it will run close to Highway 95. It will cross the highway twice, and then there's going to be a, a Y-Link Junction and this Y-Link Junction is where high-speed trains divert into different places. The Eastern Branch which we've already looked at is going to be going to Dubai. The Northern Branch which we will look at, we will look at next is going to go to Doha and the Western Branch after we look at the Northern Branch will continue to Dammam and Kuwait. Trains traveling to and from Doha will travel at a speed of 225 kilometers an hour on the junction. Now we will first look at the northern branch to Doha and then we will continue to Dammam. Now the trains that leave this junction going to Doha will accelerate to a speed of only 350 kilometers an hour and it's going to be pretty straightforward through barren desert until it joins highway until it joins the highway which is um until it joins highway number five I think yeah but it's highway number five it will join it will join highway number five and it will event and it will event and then eventually there's we get to the stop at Abu Nakla Nak La station which is only going to be served by regional trains and all other trains will pass by the station but at the same time trains will decelerate to a speed of 225 kilometers per hour as the trains start to draw closer to downtown Doha now there's going to be a large stop at Arayan but not all trains will stop at Arayan station and then eventually we reach Doha terminal where all trains from Dubai, Kuwait, Abu Dhabi or Dammam will terminate. And that is the northern branch so let us get back to the western branch. Now we are back on the main section of the, of the southern Persian Gulf high speed rail or the Arabian high speed rail where trains continuing their journey through the main line will travel will whisk past the desert at 450 kilometers per hour. Now it's going to be pretty straightforward with nothing to see on the way except it just passes through barren desert. But 
there's going to be a curve along the line right here then once it once the trains reach this curve we might decelerate to 400 kilometers per hour or we might just maintain 450 kilometers per hour and then there's going to be a few soft curves but once it probably reaches this curve this is where the trains could slow down to 400 kilometers an hour or even slower to 350 kilometers per hour but the trains will start to get slower as it draws closer to Al Hafuf and then once it joins up with the existing railway line the trains will decelerate to a speed of 270 kilometers per hour if it does not stop at Al Hafuf otherwise most trains will stop at Al Hafuf station and but trains that do not stop at Al Hafuf will only travel will travel at a speed of 270 kilometers per hour for super express trains that will whisk through the city but most trains will be stopping at this station now continuing north from Al Hafuf northwest sort of now um, the, the trains will run parallel the high speed rail will run parallel to Dharan Road and once it um, and once it leaves the zone the urban zone of the high speed rail and it splits off from the existing railway line and and Dharan Road trains will accelerate to 300 kilometers per hour and it doesn't and it doesn't have to be very fast because Damam is actually not too far from Al Hafuf and there's also going to be a sharp curve on the outskirts of the next station which is going to be right here at Bukhaik um, I I don't know if I've mispronounced it so but please ignore the mispronunciation but Bukhaik is another regional stop where most trains will whisk through the station at 300 kilometers per hour otherwise local regional trains will stop here now there's only going to be two platforms because the neighboring stations are in the same country well there's yeah two two stopping platforms and two by and two passing platform two passing tracks and two platforms now the line will curve at 90 degrees to the right and will and it will eventually and then it will um, go above highway 615 and then join the existing railway line again but only parallel and not on the railway line trains will also decelerate to 275 kilometers per hour as the line enters the urban zones of Damam city and this is but once it reaches this interchange of highway 615 and 619 trains will decelerate to a speed of 130 kilometers per hour and it will make the last leg of the journey and trains make the last leg of the journey before terminating at Jadid Damam station which technically means new Damam station because there's already an existing Damam station which has nothing to do with the high-speed rail now Jadid Damam station would be a temporary terminus for the high-speed rail until it gets extended to Kuwait it's just like Okayama station where Shinkansen bullet trains tem terminated there temporarily it will, it's, it's not a very uh, it's not it's nothing special of a city it's not a very big city Okayama just like this one not not a very uh, interesting city to visit to no offense but there's nothing much to see here like Okayama but then it was extended to Hakata which is the equivalent of Kuwait in my high-speed rail project and that is the end of the showcase for today ladies and gentlemen now I'll just zoom out here and then I'll show you the I'll show you the entire project and then I'm gonna need to make a few I need to talk quickly about my YouTube channel um, I will not upload another video for three weeks but probably during this week I might upload 
a video or two of Transport Fever and even a video of two of some DBA, um, Sydney Trains DBA. And I'm gonna have and, but once I come back on the th three weeks later, I will have a different showcase. I'll just I'm gonna have a break on this project, and I would I'm gonna be going back to Sydney and planning the alignment for the Metro, Sydney Metro West. Now it's not going to go as expected, it will actually go through Victoria Road uh, via Gladesville, Ride and Dremoyne and Rydalmere, but it will not go through Olympic Park. And that is going to be the next video. So anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up favorite the video and especially share this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.